What is going on YouTube? Foxy Grip, I'm coming to you guys today with a brand new video and today we are looking at every single variant for the PPSH-41 in Call of Duty World War II. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I know this has been highly anticipated and probably for me personally, I've been waiting to make this one for a while, but I wanted to wait a little bit to see if I got the snake too, and I haven't gotten it yet. So we're going to end up using my man Joe's account. Thank you so much to my man Hobo Joe for letting me use his account. But besides that, let me give a quick shout out to my man Matt for using the hashtag FoxyPack in the comments section. Guys, if y'all want to shout out on one of my videos, all you guys got to do is leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and then use the hashtag FoxyPack in the comments section. Let's go, bros. All right. So the first variant we are looking at is the default variant for the, or I guess like the default base weapon for the PBSH-41. You know what? It's okay. It's not the greatest. Honestly, I don't really like the default PBSH in this game. I don't know what it is. The iron sights really mess me up. I, I don't know why they mess me up so much. I don't know. I just prefer the other variants. I prefer the circle, um, iron sights and stuff like that. But So for those of you who are noobs to this game, uh, the PBSH is probably the best submachine gun in the game. 100% uh, it definitely is the best submachine gun in the game. That's why they use it on the pro circuit. Uh, if you were to start out with a gun, I would definitely start out with the PPSH. Wait, he's going around back right there. Hello, Christmas noob. Oh, he drop shot me. What a noob. Bruh. How did none of those bullets hit him? I only got two off. There's no way, bro. There's no way. So I was looking at all the variants for the PPSH, and I was like, man, these are a lot of variants. And then I just thought about it, and I was like, wow, there's a lot of variants for the Type 100. I'm probably going to have to record that within multiple days. No! There's like eight or nine variants for the Type 100. So like, we'll get to that when we get to it. But in the beginning, we have to go over how to get, uh, how to get, so I'm going to tell you guys how to get these variants. I'm going to say this in the beginning of the video so that way I don't forget later on. Um, basically, what all you guys can do, oh, all you guys can do is get some of these through supply drops. The only PPSH variant that you can get through the quartermaster is the thrive ppsh i've talked about that in a video that i made if you guys want to go check that out it'll be down in the description below other than the base variant or the base gun the only way you can unlock the ppsh variants is through supply drops and that counts the snake the snake 2 the uh the duck soup and that last one i can't remember what the i can't remember what the last one is called i never use it so like i don't really know what up okay we're, we're, we're kind of doing some work all right let's, let's go to the next game i think that's uh yeah, that, that's enough for this game. Let, let's go to the next one. All right. Next up, we have the Iron Curtain. Basically just the default PPSH, but it's got a different animation, and it's blue, red, and yellow. That's basically the difference between the two. Sledgehammer Games is like, all right, let's just put this dumbass fucking variant in the game. It's just a different color. You know, it's something to waste their supply drops on, so that way, you know, some guy who, you know, is trying to get the Snake 2... Can't just can't get the snake too because you know he keeps getting variants of the uh, PPSH of the duck soup and shit like that you know you know and that that guy that guy is 100% me yeah that is 110% me I don't know I'm just not a big fan of the default PPSH iron sights and that's exactly what this one has and whenever I use it normally it's when I pick it up off the ground if like I'm on a streak or something like that and I need a new weapon yeah yeah decimate them there buddies and if I'm being honest the PPSH is definitely my favorite gun in the game besides the STG I think I've said that multiple times on stream whenever someone comes in the stream and they're new they always ask what my favorite gun is you're about to get turned on no I'm not nope 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 no he's not no he's not when I dropped the V2 with the Thrive the other night that almost turned into a double V2 because I picked up a snake too it was wild get off me yeah, stop jumping, you little bitch. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I get so triggered and so mad. I'm really stressed right now. So, like, this is, like, the worst time for me to, like, I don't know. I, I guess it's not, like, the worst time for me to record videos. But, like, I'm just super triggered right now at the moment. And I get triggered when, like, people, like, jump at it and stuff like that. So. Ah! Get off me, bro. He was one shot, 100%. Alrighty. We got the duck soup. Soup duck. Suck dupe. That doesn't sound right. Alright, anyways, we have the duck suit variant in here. And honestly, this is one of my least favorite variants. I don't know. I just don't like using it. At first, when I was playing with it, I guess like last week, I just like, uh, it was okay. As I've played with it a little bit more, it's not too bad. Still not a huge fan, but not too bad. That's what she said. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Everyone's like, everyone I've talked to in the chat is like, oh my god, yeah, I want the duck suit. It's so freaking good. It's amazing. It's awesome. It's so cool. And I'm like, 
bro, give me the snake too. And they're like, oh, I've got the snake too. And I'm like, all right, well, let me trade. Honestly, you know what would be awesome? If we could trade variants. That would be the coolest thing. Could you imagine? Oh, yeah, you have the duck soup. You have the snake too. Oh, I want yours. You want mine? Oh, yeah, totally, 100%. Swap right then and there. This shit would be so dope. Multiple people have come into my stream and said, yo, I want the duck soup so bad. I'm like, bro, like, I've gotten, like, four or five dupes of the duck soup. People are like, what? Are you serious? Is it really, like, that rare to get the duck soup? Because I've gotten, like, four variants of it. I feel like that the iron sights are pretty dope, but, like, they remind me way too much of the default iron sights, so I, I just don't like it. As you guys can see, this is the Thrive variant. We had a video go up last week, I think it was, and we talked about this variant and how you can get it and all that stuff. Uh, I'll just go over that real quick. So how can you get this variant? Well, you can get it through the Quartermaster. Basically, you can use your payroll in order to get it. To get the payroll, you have to play a lot. And uh, yeah, or you can just get it through a supply drop. Depends on your luck, you know, how sludge can be with that. I've said this before, but this is definitely my favorite epic variant for the PPSH. And I've said it before. And I'll say it again. If they come out with a Thrive 2, it's gonna look clean as hell. It's gonna be the- it's gonna be- oh my- Dude, those guys did the exact same thing. A that threw me off, actually. They were both walking the same way, and then as soon as they turned and looked at me, they both did the exact same motion. That was, like, one of the weirdest things. To be honest, when World War II first came out, I didn't like the PPSH. I liked the Type 100, and I liked the... What was it? What other gun? Honestly, I was running mainly the STG, but... As I got more variants for the PPSH, I started to really enjoy it. And I think it's those iron sights on the regular PPSH, man. Or, like, the default PPSH. God, how did he know? <laughs> ah, I threw that. I, I threw it too late. <laughs> I held that joint too late. All good, all good. Next variant, fellas. Next variant. So, as you guys can see, we have the Snake Epic variant. This is the Snake 1, as I would say. I figured it would just be best to show this one before we do the Snake 2 in the next game. I dig the Snake. I really do. The only problem I have is when I put on a camo. And it looks completely awful. It looks disgusting, actually. I cannot stand it. I'm actually gonna go this way. Yeah, you're shit for putting a bouncing Betty there. You guys are still playing like such noobs. Yeah, and you still suck, kid. I'm talking such trash right now. <laughs> I just get mad when kids like really, really take advantage of like spawn trapping and things like that. Spawn trapping is like one of the most like insanely cringy things that I cannot stand in a Call of Duty game. Especially in that last map. That last map was really bad with it. Oh my god, dude. Just like every single person on that other team took advantage of it. I mean, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I've spa I spawn trapped a little bit before, but nothing like, nothing like extreme or anything like that, to be honest. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting outgunned. Earlier today, like on stream, man, that shot was, my shot was insane, bro. It was actually insane how much I was just picking kids off. Oh. oh my god, dude. That was a split triple, but that was insane. Let me get some hype in the chat for that shit, bros. <gasps> oh, let's go! Ah! Let me get some, bro. I should become a sniper. What do you mean, bro? Oh my god, my shot is mean right now! Hey, oh, dude, do you... Okay, do you guys see how far that went and how close it was to hitting me? I'm surprised I didn't, like, he didn't get a hit marker from that, dude. Okay, guys, so in this series, as you guys know, I do every variant with every gun in Call of Duty World War II. But I want you guys to tell me in the comment section which gun you guys want me to use next. You know, if, if you guys have accounts that have uh, certain guns on it that I don't have, I'll be more than willing to, uh, you know... Use them and I'll give you your credit in the video just like I did to my man Hobo Joe in this video. But, you know, like I said before. Oh my god, dude, they're all fucking camping. I can't stand kids who play like this. Alright, well we just hopped into the middle of a game, but this is the snake too. Look at how beautiful this damn gun is, bro. Alright, so like I said before, also, thank you once again to my man Joe for letting me hop on his account and using the snake too. So that way I can get this video out to you guys. So this is the Snake 2, once again. I know I've introduced it probably like 500 times, but it's the cleanest variant in the game, 100%. In my opinion, the Snake 2 is definitely the cleanest variant in the game. Didn't notice you until just now. I hate this game so damn much, bro.
But yeah, I'm definitely gonna hop into a second game after this because I did hop into the middle of this game. So if I end up like switching mid sentence or something like that, that's why. Come forward, thank you. Come forward, young one. <laughs> Surprise! No, dude, the shotguns, bro. The shotgun. I'm so excited for these new maps to release. Honestly, I'm just waiting for new maps to play, low key. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna be getting new guns in the next update too. Who is laying a bouncing Betty right there? You're such a noob. Get off me. Let's go. We're this way. Yup. Look at you. There is no map variety in this video. And there hasn't been for a really long time. And I'm sorry about that. But you know what? That's what happens when we only get nine maps. So GG. Let's go. We have the snake too. Michael Condry said the other day that there will not be any ground war in Call of Duty World War II anytime soon. He said that the maps don't really work like that and that spawn system just isn't really set up for 9v9. Basically what he's saying is our spawn system is trash and we need to fix it before we even think about putting ground war in the game. That's basically what he just told us. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say like I'm a huge fan of ground war because you know, I just started playing ground war last year. But I will say that speaking from a person who has played Call of Duty since World at War, I feel like it's always been a game mode that everyone's enjoyed, especially those who snipe and uh, go for like really you know, big kill games and things like that. And it's also another game mode where we can get more kills. Considering the team deathmatch isn't 100 kills in this game, I feel like it would be better to implement ground war because ground war is 100 kills per game. That being said, I hate shotguns and I really hope that everyone using a shotgun I admit the shotguns were a little weak at first no joke they really were the shotguns were weak as hell at first but I feel like sledgehammer either buffs something too much or buffs something not enough does that make sense I don't know what it is I know that you know people work hard and shit like that and they're you know they're busting their ass to try and figure out shit but dude there's got to be a way that you get you can figure it out sooner bros Alright, so I tried to enter one more game, and I tried to get some more gameplay for you guys with the snake too, but I got put on Gustav Cannon, and there's no way I'm running around with a PPSH on Gustav Cannon. But guys, let me know down in the comment section what other guns you guys want to see in this series. I'll be doing all of them, so let me know which ones you guys want to see next. And also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, click that bell, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!